Hi boys and girls! So today we're learning about all kinds of different sea creatures that you wanted to learn more about. And our friend Ainsley wanted to learn more about marine iguanas. And that's no surprise because I know that Ainsley loves lizards and iguanas. So I didn't even know that there was such a thing as a marine iguana. But if you guys go on to Flipgrid today, there's a really cool video. You can watch a marine iguana swimming in the water. It's so awesome. And we're gonna go ahead and draw an iguana using the letter I. Yeah, do you remember how the other day we made a shark out of the number four? Well, we're gonna make a marine iguana out of the num or the letter I. Okay, so you need a piece of paper, something to draw with. I've got a green marker here, and then I've got my water paints because I thought when I'm all done, I might make my marine iguana really colorful and paint it. Okay, so to get started, I want you to make an uppercase I in the middle of your paper. Here is our uppercase I. Now, I know it doesn't look like an iguana yet, but iguana starts with I, and we're gonna turn this into an iguana. Did you know that marine iguanas live only in the Galapagos Islands? I bet Ainsley would like to travel there someday. Okay, well, I want you to start with the top of your uppercase I, and I want you to make a curved line down that's gonna go all the way down here. This is gonna be the back end or the tail of our iguana, okay? Now I want you to draw a short line up to meet the bottom of your uppercase I, okay? And now we're gonna put some feet in for our iguana. So right here where we just stop with that tail, I just want you to add a foot. And um, a marine iguana's feet, they have claws, so if you wanna make it look like it's got a bit of a claw by, by making some jagged lines, you could do that. Now, we're gonna move over to the other side of the bottom of the eye, and we're gonna make another foot. With some claws there, there we go. Now, it's like we're looking at the iguana from the side, so we can only see two of his feet, but he's got two more on the other side. Now, I want you to come up, actually, let's, let's start down here where the feet are, and I want you to make a big curve line out and come all the way back back in. This is going to be our iguana's head. Okay? Now, I want you to make a circle up here at the top. This is going to be our iguana's eye, and you can put a dot right there on the inside. How cool is that? And then I want you just to make a line right here up, up here for his mouth. Okay, so there's our iguana's body. He's looking more and more like an iguana. Well, in order for it to be a marine iguana, we're gonna add some little spikes going down the back here. So I want you to just maybe make some um, zigzag lines going down the back. And then I think I was also reading um, that the marine iguanas, I'm not sure if it's the male or female, but one of them has even some little horns up there on the top. I bet while you're watching that video today and maybe doing some research of your own, looking it up in some books, that maybe you might be able to find out which one has horns and you could write about it. Okay, so here is our iguana. I think he looks so cool. Well, now we need to get to work coloring him. So let's get out our water paints and let's make him colorful. Okay, kiddos, I'm all done painting my marine iguana, but that was so much fun that I think it'd be cool to make a baby one. Would you like to do it again? Don't forget, we start by making an uppercase I. Then you start at the top of the uppercase I, make a curved line down and bring it back up. That's his tail. And then we're gonna make a little foot with some zigzag lines for the claws. Make another foot over here. And then we're gonna start and go up and then keep going around to touch the top of that uppercase I. We're gonna add a big circle for our iguana's eye, and then we're gonna make a short line for our iguana's mouth, and we're gonna add some spikes along the back of his or her body. Awesome, I think I'm ready to, to
to paint my baby iguana. Okay friends, now that we have our big marine iguana and our baby marine iguana all drawn and painted, let's come up with some other words that start just like iguana with that short I sound, that I sound. Let's try to make the word iguana on here first. Iguana, I hear I, igu, gu, what letters? G and U, you got it. Guana. Now it sounds like it'd be an O, but it's not an O. It's the other vowel letter that can make that ah sound. Hey, yeah, we need another A. Iguana. I hear an N. And then iguana. Sounds like there's a U at the end, but it's not a U. Are you thinking of the other vowel letter that can make that sound at the end? It's A again. Yeah, A can make all those different sounds. Here's the word iguana. How many different words can you think of that start like iguana? Hmm. Oh, I'm thinking of the word in. We just did that yesterday with our uh, dolphin in word family. Here's the word in. Hmm, let's see. Oh, itchy. Let's do the word itchy. Hmm, let's see. I, I hear that short I. Itch. Ch. What letters make the ch sound? CH, but guess what? There's a T in there. You can't really hear it very well. He's kind of working with the CH. Itch. Now we could just leave that, but if we want to make it itchy, what letter makes that E sound at the end? A Y, good job. Here's the word itchy. How about icky? Icky. I, ick. There are two letters that work together. C and K, you've got it. Awesome. And then we need a Y again. You're on a roll. How about one more word? How about the word inspire? Ooh, that's a big one. Inspire. I hear in. Let's write in, in, sp, sp. I hear a blend, S-P, inspire. I hear I saying its name, now it's a long I, and there is an R. Now in order for that I to say his name, we need a bossy E. There's the word inspire. Well, Miss Ainsley, you inspired me to draw this iguana using the letter I because you said you wanted to learn more about marine iguanas. So boys and girls, I hope you'll watch that video. Hope you'll join me in drawing your own iguanas. And then I want to see how many different words you can come up with that start with that short I sound, that is sound. And if you also want to write some sentences about these really cool creatures, I would love to see those too. Okay, have fun.